Okay, uh, lucky number 13 in the Cognitive Distortions and Biases playlist is Framing. That's another big one. Um, I guess I could have ordered these in a certain, started with the big ones. But framing or a, a frame force is uh, if you literally think of a picture frame, right? Uh, a picture frame is around, uh, built around, like, right, a portrait of, I don't know, that's Mona Lisa, I guess, All right? There's a mountain over here, a tree. All right, so the, the reason we frame a portrait is to give it a boundary and help you focus your attention on uh, the portrait. And then you're not looking at maybe the brick, uh, the brick wall or the wood paneling around the, the portrait. Your, frame, your, um, <clears throat> your point of reference is being directed by that uh, picture frame. So cognitive, uh, cognitive framing or the, the bias is when someone, when you're unduly influenced by the way that someone is delivering information, the, the, the delivery style, the context within which the information is given. Uh, they want you to see things, uh, somebody that's trying to uh, influence you or present an argument, they want to uh, build that frame with which you view uh, the material. Now, that's, um, that's basically what an argument is, is I'm making statements uh, to be taken as premises to support my, uh, my proposition, my conclusion. And th that's, there's ways to do that uh, logically. The, the frame force I'm talking about for a bias to look out for is when someone's trying to, they don't have a good argument, so they're trying to manipulate the situation, uh, the framing of such by uh, trickery or misstatements or um, changing the context, uh, you know, take things out of context. You heard that phrase before. That's, an, I, that's a, a version of framing. Uh, the easiest way to combat or watch for the, the frame force or uh, your framing distortion in yourself is to listen to the information and then always try to determine what is the context within which I'm being given this information. What's outside of the frame, right? What's over here? What's over here? What am I not being told? What information do I not have that I might, that I might um, need or use to change my uh, opinion based on this frame? You know, widen the frame. Uh, you can use that old cliche expression to think outside the box. If the box is your frame, uh, try to think more widely. Uh, try to um, look for omissions. It's not necessarily that you're being deceived all the time, but watch for these comfortable frames you have. Like you, you frame your uh, experience of reality and your perception in the daily world in it by a certain frame, and you want to. You know, not be narrow-minded. Your frame is narrow. Be more open-minded. That means open that frame up to account for more experiences or more perspectives or opinions uh, when you're trying to make a decision. So a framing distortion um, is very important. It's hard to identify in ourselves, but just always think, what am I not seeing? When I'm looking through, how do they do that? Right? When somebody does this and they're framing something, what else are you missing uh, if a frame is being forced on you? Um, be aware of that cognitive distortion. And then even when you're not in an argument or someone's presenting information, just look for it in your day-to-day. -day. What are you missing? Um, you know, you don't know what you don't know until you start looking for it.